name, the band name, actually, this is the truth. This is the, the God's honest truth. I was in a, in a immediately as soon as you say that, I, I was in an airport lounge in Napier. That's a good start, eh? And I was sitting next to an old man who was wearing a lawn bowls kind of jacket. He had his with lawn bowl things on it. And he started telling me his story. And uh, he told me that he'd been a smuggler in the Second World War. And he, he'd, he'd basically been in charge of flying late night missions with sort of stolen booty around the place. And cut a long story short, he was flying a midnight one out of um, Egypt, out of Cairo, and he went to this bar to kill time. And as he was sitting there, a fight broke out around him, and these guys were trying to stab each other with knives. And he says to himself, um, there's no way in hell I'm going to die in a, in a Cairo knife fight. I'm out of here. And he said those words to me. I went, oh, that's amazing. That's a bad name. I wrote it down. There it is. Yeah, that's actually the truth. Like a lot of things, with bands, they, they come out of something else, you know, so you're working on one project and then it sort of just morphs into something else and then eventually you realise that um, that's what it's going to be now. Maybe five, six years ago, I just kind of cut the fat out of the project I was in at the time and just went to two guys, I had this brainstorm that actually came in a dream, which sounds like a, a lie, but it's not. No, I, can take, I, can take I had a dream that I think I could play bass, keys, drums, sing, loop some stuff up and maybe get a guitarist to play octave into his bass amp and play guitar, and there are two people, sweet, let's do that. And remarkably it worked. I like the fact that you've got two people who, if they commit to the same single idea, it becomes an incredibly persuasive and powerful sound. It's extraordinary how big you can make it. Guitarist, you've got to have someone who brings their own vibe to it. So it's tricky to find people to work with, but luckily, you know, coming across someone like Joel, he's the perfect guy for it. Intrinsically, as a guitarist, the most fun aspect is just turning up and going whack and hearing this lovely big fucking sound. Yeah. You know, it's really satisfying to play with a musician who is up to par and can, you know, nail shit, basically. You know, whatever we dream up, we can possibly pull off, you know. Mm. The point of this band is also to be an artistic experience, not just writing songs and singing them. It's also a challenge, a musical challenge. It's fun to try and find things that are a little more complicated to do, and you know, as well as just playing stuff that is just open heart kind of rock. I think the best way to describe this Knife Fight record is basically to concede that it is rock. It might have other angles floating around, it might have other desperate attempts to be more relevant maybe than it deserves to be, but it, it's rock music.